Hi everyone, this is Tony from Sack Studios, and I'm here today with another quick tutorial on Adobe Photoshop CS5. Today I'm going to teach you how to extract a model or anything you want out of a background that you don't like. Now, a lot of times people will jump right in and, you know, jump in, maybe try the magic eraser, you know, extract masking. There's there's so many ways you can do it, but really in CS4 and CS5, they introduced the quick selection tool, which makes this so much easier. So, the first thing I always recommend you do when you start a project, let's go ahead and duplicate our layer, and you can do that by holding control and hitting J or command J on a Mac. Okay, so we have our new layer and that's what we're going to start working with. Now, as I said before, some people like to jump in and maybe they want to try that magic eraser tool. So they go ahead and click and you see this is kind of what happens. You see all these jagged edges around through here. Horrible looking, just really awful. It's not going to make a good extraction. So let's let's undo that and let's take a look at another way that's much nicer and gives us a clean result. So up here in our tools palette, we have the quick selection tool. Now in CS5, it is bundled with the magic wand tool right under the lasso tool, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. It, it's uh, located a little different in CS4, but you should be able to find it. So we're going to go ahead and get our quick selection tool and we're just going to go ahead and start making our selection. We're just going to get as close as we can around through here. We want to just make a collection and it does a very good job in most cases of finding the edge. So we just go ahead and fill in the whole thing then we'll hold alt and you see how the minus sign appears inside. That's going to allow us to take away what we don't want. Often doing this gives us a much cleaner result as you can see here. We're just going to bring it in and gently we'll go back around the hair we want to get. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get it as close as you can obviously. And that looks pretty good. So now we've got our model selected. Now you might notice over here to the side some of the flyaway hair strands aren't collected in this, but that's not a problem at all because the what we're going to do will actually go ahead and bring that back for us when we do the extraction. Now we've got our selection made and I, we're going to go up here I would recommend using the refine edge option you can click the button here in CS5 or you can find it under the select menu under refine edge and the shortcut is alt control R or alt option R on a Mac so let's go ahead and click refine edge and see what happens now it has removed our background but we have some jagged edges around the hair but unlike what happens when you use the magic eraser tool we have some really awesome tools inside this refine edge dialog box that's going to turn our picture into a perfect extraction so let's first start by turning on smart radius and then we're just going to drag the slider up and what will happen is you'll start to see all that hair comes back that we missed earlier so the things that didn't look quite so natural now we have those flyaways back it looks nice now we can come down here under the adjustments and we can smooth it just a bit we can feather it you can actually go extreme with the feather depending on how you want to do this but if you're just looking for a normal extraction you may just want to feather it just a little bit generally somewhere around three to five pixels works quite well and then what we're going to do is go down here and choose contaminate colors, decontaminate colors, excuse me. And the reason we want to do that is is because if your model is on a background such as a red background or there's a red light in the vicinity that is reflecting upon her, sometimes that can be left over after the refine edge function. So what we're going to do is we're going to just bump that decontaminate colors all the way up. 
that's going to make sure none of the bleed comes in from the background before. So now the output, we're going to have it selected here. See, you've got different options. You've got new layer with mask, new document, new document with layer mask. In this case, we're just going to choose new layer. And let's go ahead and say OK. It's going to think just a second, and now it's going to output our selection to a new layer. And as you can see, this looks pretty good. But now what happens if you make it a new layer, but you have something like this on the side here? I can see kind of through that hair, and I can see the background. Man, that's a problem. So let's go ahead and back up a step here. Alright, and we're going to go back into Refine Edge, and I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So, we're going to turn on, like we did before, Smart Radius. We're going to bring it up. Alright, we're going to feather just a little bit, smooth out the edge. Alright, we're going to decontaminate colors, but this time let's choose New Layer with Layer Mask. Go ahead and choose OK. Now, the reason you want to do this is, because now, see, we still see there's a problem here. You can see through this section of hair, but now we have a mask that we can fix it. So let's go ahead and choose the mask. Let's make sure the white frame encompasses the mask part of the layer. And we're going to go over here and make sure we have our white color selected. And we're going to grab a brush. Now let's make sure it's a soft brush. And you want to size it down depending on what the resolution of your picture is and we're just gonna gently color that back in so as you can see now all that's back what we were missing before now we have it back again and up here see we just bring that back in it just comes in naturally looks nice without having all the background issues and this is the great part about Refine Edge with using a mask. You can really get back everything that you lost. So now we have a perfect extraction. It looks natural because the hair flyaways are all there. It looks nice. So now what we can do is go ahead and just create a new layer. Go ahead and so we got that layer selected. Let's hold control and select our other layer. Let's just merge layers now we've got a single layer with our picture so now let's go ahead and grab it with the rectangular marquee we're just going to select the whole area control C or you can go up to edit copy now say we've got a background I'm just going to make a new one that we want to put it in so let's say we've got black background we're going to go ahead do a gradient alright now say we we want to put this model in here we're just gonna control V look at that right in there we have a nice new background it looks good and the background is totally changeable you can put her in anything you like anywhere and you're all set and this is one of the greatest new features in CS4 and CS5 and I really hope you guys uh, get something out of this it's been a pleasure showing you how to extract a model out of the picture you're in. And um, please check out some of my other videos. Comment, rate, subscribe if you like what I do. And I appreciate it. So this is Tony from Psych Studios, and I'll see you next time.